Credit relief measures by the central bank could have helped some businesses to stay afloat, but the impact on the bank's balance sheet is already being felt, and the future of these businesses is unpredictable because the cycle of the pandemic is not clearly known. Now these accommodations have come to an end, uh, those that would be unable to pay would begin to crystallize, right? And then the provisions, of course, uh, begin to, 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 to hit very directly. So there is a, I think it's, it's, it's not a secret uh, that uh, uh, the ratio of non-performing assets will increase, right? And uh, uh, what would be useful at the moment is if we all spread the message on vaccination. This, according to economists, leaves lenders in a tricky situation, despite having collateral and could eventually cause devaluation of assets. Applications and approvals for loans declined in the quarters July 2021. Applications fell by 1.8 percent. From over 3,000 billion shillings in the previous quarter, approvals fell 2.9 percent from over 2,000 billion. Overall, the share of non-performing loans to total gross loans reduced to 4.8% in June 2021 from 5.4% March 2021. Now, because of those measures, banks were slow to repossess. Because why repossess something that you can't sell? No? If you looked at the first, if you looked at the first market value at the time of issuing the loan and what you can actually get on the market right now, it's worlds apart. Percentages. So now, the central bank is putting commercial banks and other lenders in a very tricky situation. A, the credit relief measures have expired. So it means now the banks have to foreclose. Now look at this bank that has to make a decision. Because otherwise, they are, it's, it's, it's going to distort their balance sheets. All these non-performing loans and things of the sort. So now... If you're a banker, what do you do? Do you proceed to sell off a school? And who's going to buy it? And at how much? Because the value of the school is not the buildings, the students, it's the entire ecosystem. This is undoubtedly evidence of the damage the pandemic has left on the financial system. It also remains to be seen whether banks can withstand the shocks and survive in an environment that requires them from time to time to have strong capital buffers.